and I am here with Emmanuel Goldstein. Hey, Emmanuel. Uh, so, do you have anything to do with this event today? Well, you know, I, I tried to help out however I could. Uh, you know, I was able to coordinate some stuff, but most of the credit belongs to the people that um, you know do all the hard work, the heavy lifting, that kind of thing. So, uh, tell us a little bit about your story. Like, who is Emmanuel Goldstein? Well, I'm just one man that uh, believes in a little bit of adventure and fun and curiosity. And, you know, we put out a magazine, do radio, uh, run conferences, pack a bit, fun phones, various things like that. And then you have a lot of medals. Uh, well, yeah, but these aren't really. Someone just gave this to me. Uh, Robert Steele, who's speaking now, gave me this medal. Uh, lifetime Award. I guess it's my lifetime. This is it. So, uh oh. <laughs> so, did, did you give a talk today? Uh, I was on social engineering, which is basically uh, the panel where you try and get information out of people live on the uh, on the telephone. Oh, how did it go? It went, uh, went pretty good. We got a lot of people to say things they really shouldn't have. For instance, uh, they told us all about a woman who was getting a limousine to the airport. They gave us her name and everything like that, and we know all sorts of information. We were able to find out the names of people uh, who are getting on airplanes, stuff like that. Wow. They shouldn't do that. Nah, no, nah, they shouldn't. Like, I don't want people to know about my personal well, yeah, life. People are stupid, what can I say? Socks are smart, but people are stupid. Um, so, there's oh, I a lot see of... you standing Oh, up. yeah, I was just listening. Um, so there's a bad stigma around hacking, but it's not all bad. Can you talk about some of the some of the good aspects of it? Well, the good aspects are basically just... Um, sorry, my phone's ringing. Uh, oh, sure. This is. Uh, can you hold on one moment? Uh, yeah. Uh, you guys come to our panel? Come downstairs. I want to get, get, get you with Emmanuel. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry, you're speaking? Oh, best uh, picture ever. I was just talking about the uh, positive aspects of hacking. Uh, well, uh, the positive aspects of hacking basically allow you to uh, play around with things and mess around, ask questions, and uh, experiment and learn and share information. Stuff mm -hmm. like that. Talk okay. to socks occasionally, you know, whatever yeah. comes to mind. Anything. Yeah. Well, Drinking, I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I've got a little habit. Right. It's Robitussin. All right. <laughs> he does the tussin. I try to make him stop, but... The people just are too open with information sometimes. They're personal information. And they do it now all the time with social networking. I mean, you guys have Facebook accounts? Well, pages? M maybe. Yeah, no, I, I'm not saying we do, and I'm not saying we don't. Well, you shouldn't. I mean, you know, all these uh, bits of information, they're... Uh, they can be used against you. Yeah, like someone's tussing problem. Hey, cut it out. So tell us, yeah, like tell us about how you founded the magazine. Uh, well, basically, I founded it uh, when uh, I realized there was no other magazine like it, and we had interesting things to say. We made it very tiny and small, and only a few people read it, and then all of a sudden, more people wanted to read it. And it got out of control. Um, no, I know your magazine like really told people about Kevin Mitnick going to jail. Like, why was he in jail? Uh, he was in jail for reasons that we still don't quite understand. But he never actually uh, caused any damage or stole anything or used anything uh, uh, to profit, uh, cause any damage or anything like that. Basically, he just pissed off the wrong people. Uh, like, wasn't Steve Rambam arrested before one of these conferences, like, two oh, years ago? Yeah, two years ago. That's another story where uh, the FBI swooped in and arrested him. Uh, and then they basically dropped all charges later when it was proven that uh, there's no basis for it. And uh, there was actually a threat they were going to do that again today, but they didn't. They thought better of it. But they don't like it when people speak publicly because that's, uh, you know, that's, that's a bad thing for them to have information get out. It's a good thing for us. Yeah, as puppets, we want information to be free for everybody. Well, maybe you're hacking puppets then. Hey, we're hacking puppets. Yeah. 